Hi, I'm Naomi with the Naomi Butler Show, and this is another part to the two energy paintings. These are huge canvases. They're 48 by 60 inches, and today I've mixed up some other colors. I've mixed up two grays. One is a lighter gray, and one's a little darker gray. I like to mix up in these containers that um, people probably throw away, but I keep containers that have lids so that the paint doesn't dry up. I found some things over the years that it dries up in, but these are really, really good. Okay, now here's why I'm gonna do this. What I, what I did, I'm gonna show you, I took a little bit of every single color and I have added the orange and yellow to my palette. So I took a little bit of orange, yellow, burnt sienna, red, light purple, dark purple, pink, green, turquoise, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, turquoise, or whatever that is, and other blues. So I kind of mixed all of it up and then I added some white. And then in this one, the darker one, I added a little bit more blue, but I didn't put as much white. In this one, I added a little bit more blue and pink to give it a purple hue. And of course I have paint all over my fingers when I'm touching the outer edges of this because when I mixed it, I got paint all over it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna play with paint. And that even has some of those other pretty colors that we haven't added yet. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do today. This is gonna be a trial effort. I'm trying to learn how to make a two times video. I am not techie and I've found this one particular app that you can make it edit into two times, but it's only limited to a certain amount of minutes. So. What I'm gonna do is just play with these grays today. And some of this may be even translucent over some of these other colors, especially if I bring in water. But when this goes to double time, you're gonna hear me speak fast. So I'm gonna stop speaking. or I may just leave it as non-edited version. <laughs> Who knows? I may leave this one alone and do another one and test it as far as trying to edit something. I want to kind of show you something here on both of these. I'm going to take just a it's graphite, I think, and I'm just going to draw into this wet paint and it doesn't have to be any specific shape. You can see I'm doing a lot of squares, but there are different sizes. And 
again, just having fun. Don't know what we're gonna end up doing here, but. Cues to make that black show up a little bit more on that graphite. Okay, that's just kind of toning down some of that area, and we might even come back with a little bit of this dark gray and put it in here that it's not coming up dark. It's coming up a different gray. So sometimes you plan on a certain color and you get something that looks a little different. Which is fine. I'm also going to mix some orange and yellow and red a little bit. We're gonna come in with a vibrant color. take one of my little, I already had one out. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of soften the edges a little bit instead of having hard edges. Show you how that blends in. Same thing over here. some of the hard edges and then blend some of the softer edges out. Again, we're still in that playing mode, but it just gives you a little different look than just all hard edges. Okay, we're going to do some more of that color. It's close to that real light salmon peach color that we had on here last time. Even though it's a little different. Softening those up a little bit. And I'm not even taking that same color 
over some of the white to change that white up a little bit. We could even do some drips. And that's a bright color over some of that. Okay, I'm going to add some more of this gray in different places. I don't know if you can see this it's got a, a little bit of let me do it here there's some texture here so even if you just scrape lightly with your paint you can see the texture is showing up right here with these with this color just kind of softly over those textured areas. Makes them show up a little bit. It's hard to see it unless you're up close, but see how that stays on that textured edge. some here over some of the textured edges here that's even close to that same gray this is a gray color but it is a mixture I have a lot of different main colors that were on my palette and then added a lot of white and then I kind of, like I told you, I added a little more blue and pink to this mixture to give it a little bit of a purple hue. a lot to cover and if I try to keep this to 15 minutes we're not going to get very far and so I may do the other type of not a time lapse but a two times the time video another day because on those I won't be able to say anything let you know how I'm doing anything and I'm just going to take this same brush that I had that orange color on and just make some marks with it Okay, 
I'm also going to do something that we were going to try to do last time and I didn't have my sponge ready, but I'm just going to take some white and go over some dark areas with a sponge, like a stencil here, and just show you how that comes out. Isn't that cool? And so you want light on dark and dark on light so that you've got the contrast. And so we've got some of that going on in different places. And it doesn't have to just be over the black, it can be over other colors, kind of blending down in. You can do some of the same stuff over here. can even take a different color. Let's do some of this color over this orange. It just creates a cool look. Have different stencils and I have a ton of different stencils that work for any painting. I've got some big ones, little ones. I'm going to show you something else I bought. This is just a candle holder and you can see what it's got as far as the look and the texture. I love it. So I'm going to take some pink we're going to see if I can do this through the, through the inside of it. And of course I'll wash it later, but it's giving it just a little different look than the other stencil. We could try something. We could do this. See if this works. Hey, hey, hey. Look, look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's just try that again. So I'm stamping the outside of this and stamping it over what's on there. And that already had some texture, so this is not necessarily going on like that was, because that was more flat. different color. And then you could paint those designs if you want, or you can stencil, but that really came out kind of cool. And here's what I'm going to do with the rest of the paint. I'm going to kind of do some dots lead up to that. You just always want to use the rest of your paint if you can in some way, shape, or form.
And then another secret you can do is this. I'm going to spray the paint so it's watery. It's creating the drips down, so I'm using a lot of the paint up that way too, and giving it a another little cool effect. Once this all dries, then I paint over it and do whatever. It just comes out a little different. And I'm going to kind of tone some of these circles down. They're not completely circles. Just having fun. All right, so I'm going to go back to making some other little bitty squares here near some of these other marks. has to be exact but you can see I've made some little marks inside those circles and I might make some that go around the circles that I made in pink abstract is you can do it any way you want you can turn it angle it straight up and down if you want. I'm probably not going to do that. It's just going to be different. And then I'm probably going to do something up here, a little different shape. another one since that one's down to the nub and maybe even draw in just some of that wet paint
Anything goes. cool when you go up to an abstract painting and you see so many different things it's not just a few things it's like the more you look at it the more you see and that's kind of what I'm doing with this and of course the title is energy and so I'm going to sling some paint and show you what I'm gonna do here. Um, we'll see how this goes. So hold on a second. It's not sling, but straight. What I did is I put my tool in multiple colors so that I could kind of scrape across and have a few colors come out of it. Isn't that cool? This energy is something that you want to show that in the painting. I've got energy right now and we're going to keep adding some more of this because this is so pretty See the texture, how it scrapes across the texture, which is creating a different effect. It's really cool. I got a piece of dry paint. It's okay. I like how that is doing there. And we may just take some white with whatever's on here. the light and the dark purple going on here.
did here was put two complementaries next to each other, which really draws your eye. Okay. Not crazy about that color. So I think I'll add white in it. some turquoise on top of that. When you add colors on top of each other on the canvas and they mix, you don't know what colors you're going to get. Okay, put some of that over here. Okay, we're starting to add some bright colors, some muted edges, and we have a long way to go. So I'm probably gonna kind of call it quit. Quits for now. paint for hours but for the videos you wouldn't want to watch 10 hours of painting all at once so we're going to stop here in a minute there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing right now it's just having fun I am kind of focusing on 
starting to pull it together with some muted edges and some bright colors and some stark and drastic shapes and we'll have more of that as we go but I hope you're enjoying it if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my YouTube channel the Naomi Butler show and ring the notification bell to be notified of new videos sorry the camera must have messed up and I don't know when it messed up sorry about that but Ring the notification bell, thumbs up if you like my videos, and I will see you on the next one. I'm going to give you a better view of both of these. There you go. And thank you for watching.